Hey, what's up, Dirty Christians? I'm Drew, and I'm the Dirty Christian. A lot of people talk about infant baptism, and it seems like that is a pretty popular topic today in a lot of Christian circles that I'm a part of. And I thought that I would take some time to explain why I do not necessarily subscribe to infant baptism, but also what the argument is for infant baptism. See, you have the side of the Pado baptist which is the infant Baptists, who will tell you that infant baptism is the same thing as honoring the covenant that God had made with Abraham and it involved circumcision. It was a sign of the covenant in which the Jews would take to signify who they were in God as a Jew. So a lot of Pado baptists believe that that sacrament has carried over into infant baptism as part of a covenant sign between God, you, and your family. And that is why many infant Baptist supporters choose to baptize their child at birth. Now there's a lot of covenant theology behind this, there is a lot of discussion, and there is a lot of scripture in support of this. And I don't have time, nor do I have the ability to spend with you to go through every step of scripture of what supports infant baptism. But the reason that personally I can't subscribe to infant baptism, and that's not to say that I won't one day, it's quite possible as opinions change and I learn and I grow and mature in the word of God, I may one day subscribe to infant baptism. But right now, I just can't see the signs in the scripture to say that it is mandatory for believers today. And the reason that I can't see it is there is not enough evidence biblically in the New Testament. It is not clear enough for me to understand it from a very novice perspective in reading the scripture. The only times that we see baptism is after a conversion of people. And that conversion typically surrounded adults. So the adult would believe, and then as a sign of their belief, and as an outward showing of an inward change, that person would go through the process of baptism to show obedience to God and to those around them that they now have been regenerated. And even the Bible says that we are buried with Christ and risen in the newness of life. A decision has been made there for the a believing adult to go through the baptism process and be baptized. Now, I'm not against baby dedications. I'm not even against infant baptism. I think that needs to be clear. People need to understand that I'm not speaking against infant baptism. I'm only speaking of my knowledge and my understanding of scripture at this point and why I am not able to subscribe to the idea of infant baptism because a conscious decision had to be made in the conversion of people to be baptized. It always came after that salvation experience. And since children are not able to vocalize that they have been regenerated, especially babies, I don't see the importance of infant baptism, even when the arguments are compelling that it is a sign of the covenant that God has made with families. So I'd like to know what you guys have to say. What do you think about infant baptism? Obviously, it's kind of a hot topic for, for groups of people. Drop in the comments below. Let me know if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, if you practice infant baptism, or you're adamantly opposed to it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. God bless you guys. Dirty Christian, I'm out.